2011 Alive, an interview with Joey Watkins. So he was exonerated in September after spending more than 20 years in prison for a crime he did not commit. But Georgia law offers little to no help for people like Watkins, hoping to rebuild their lives after a wrongful conviction. 11 Alive investigator Savannah Levins is live at the Capitol now, where that could soon change. Savannah. Yeah, that's right, Jennifer. There is a bill stuck in the Senate right now that would make it easier for exonerees to be compensated. Plus, six resolutions seeking to pay six wrongfully convicted Georgians who spent a combined 129 years in prison for crimes they did not commit. But as time runs out here at Georgia's Capitol, it's becoming less and less likely that they'll ever see a dime. The air don't work, so I gotta, I gotta get the air fixed. It's been six months since Joey Watkins was exonerated. After serving 22 years for a murder he did not commit. This is hopefully where my new business will take off from. Six months since the cameras packed up. I mean, it's kind of 70s style, but. And the news headlines ended. Beggars can't be choosers right now. And Watkins went home to Rome to try to move on. The biggest shock was the reality that, you know, half your family's gone everything that you remember. Gone to his family's car business, forced to close after the legal fees to clear Watkins's name became too much for his parents to shoulder. They spent every bit of money they ever made in their life on getting me home. And when I came home, they had nothing. So it's been nothing but a struggle since then. 38 states and D.C. have laws in place to compensate wrongfully convicted citizens. Georgia isn't one of them. When men do time, they offer programs for them, grants, stuff like that. When you're exonerated, you're no longer a convicted felon. You're not eligible for those benefits. So it's kind of like, hey, we'll see you. Good luck. Why do we not have laws in place to standardize this? Well, that's very interesting because we're trying to get one. State Representative Katie Dempsey says that bill would put the responsibility of compensating exonerees into the hands of an independent board. As it stands now, a legislator has to sponsor individual compensation resolutions for each wrongfully convicted person. This is not what any of us felt we were elected to do, to sit there and hold someone's life in our hands and try to decide what the value on that might be. Dempsey is sponsoring Watkins' resolution, which would compensate him just over $1.6 million, 72000 for each year of wrongful imprisonment. And it is not much when you think of the value of your life. Watkins watched in the wings as the resolution made it out of the House in the final hours of crossover day. The resolution is therefore adopted. To a standing ovation. It's going to make me cry. It is emotional. It was powerful. <laughs> but it still has to pass the Senate where it's been stalled for weeks. There is resistance just on the principle, I think, of the state being financially responsible for something that was carried out by a county. As the clock runs out, so do the few dollars Watkins has left to his family name. I said, let's just resurrect Watkins Auto Center, give it a second chance. Let's try. But the roadblocks keep coming. I can't get a business loan because I can't show two years of tax returns. I mean, I'm, I'm out of money, so I'm, I'm on a day-to-day -day basis now. If it keeps going like this, I'm possibly out of this place. I'm just sitting, waiting. Also sitting, waiting, somewhere in Georgia's capital is a bill that could change state law for exonerees and a resolution that could change Watkins' future. This is going to be my legacy if it works out. After more than two decades of stolen past. It's either sink or swim, and I'll swim till I sink. The Georgia Innocence Project played an integral role in Joey's case and so many others. They've really been pushing for these compensation resolutions as well. But it's important to note, not all exonerees get that kind of support. Most never have and never will see a single cent from the state or local jurisdictions that failed them. Reporting live at Georgia's capital, Savannah Levins, 11 Alive News.